welcome to the Pro Tipster Weekend Roundup. I'm Pro Tipster Paddy, I'm here with Pro Tipster Dan, and we're going to have a look, quick look back over the Premier League results and uh, some other results as well, and we're going to look forward to the week's action in the Carabao Cup. Carabao. Carabao, 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 Carabao Cup. Hello Pro Tipster Dan. Hi there. How's it going? Um, I apologise for all listeners who, or, or watchers, viewers, who can't understand me today because... <laughs> I'm bunged up uh, somewhat. Hot whiskeys, that's what you want. Oh, no thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. Right, Dan, let's get into this. Uh, winners and losers over the weekend. Who was the biggest winner? Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, um, a.k.a. God. Um, I don't know if you saw his highlight reel this weekend, but um, I saw someone say on Twitter he could pass a same-sex marriage law in, the, in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> He's that good. Um, it wasn't even Hollywood passes. It was just like... He, he wouldn't even, he didn't really need to look up, he just hit it first time and ping yeah. it over the fullback for Sane or Sterling to run onto. It's just like, he just knew where they were going to be and just could hit it. Mm. And, just, and also Raheem Sterling, you know, um, racially attacked, um, in the run up to the game, come, you know, uh, and by racially attacked, I don't just mean abused, apparently he was, uh, he was, uh, assaulted. Yeah? Yeah, he was kicked. Uh, like in the leg or something, I don't know, but um, yeah, scored twice. Mm. So yeah, fifteen goals so starting the season. Um, can anyone stop Man City? Uh, they've beaten all five top six teams uh, that they aren't. So mm. I don't know. Um, I'm beginning to think that <laughs> no. Um, there was a discussion on Facebook uh, that Martin posted: Are they better than the Invincibles team? And quite honestly, I think they are. Uh, I think they're the best Premier League team I've ever seen. Yeah, it's hard. Well, they have lost, though. They've lost to Shakhtar. Yeah. That, that was something I didn't like in the run-up to this game, was all this huge thing with the 15 games. But, 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 no, no, it's just a little thing. No one was specifying league games. You know, they have lost. Yeah, yeah, you know? it's true. And it's Wolves, true. Wolves held them to a draw as well, and extra time and penalties. Yeah. So, another big winner this weekend, West Ham United. Um, I think Morris has turned a massive corner there. Martin, uh, tips it up beforehand. I hope you took advantage of it on the blog that I know to each would score and should have had a hat trick. Um, don't think Hughes was that impressed. Mark Hughes was that yeah. impressed. You think he'd be in trouble? Uh, I think, I think he's more likely to get sacked beforehand. <laughs> I was so, surprised. I, 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 I presumed on Sunday, Sunday when I opened Twitter he was gonna have been fired, but I don't know why they're keeping him. Uh, God knows. Mm-hmm. And then there's Palace who, uh, Stuff, Leicester play really poorly, which is great because I tipped them to win. And, uh, yeah, Palace scored. Benteke scored, I think it was over a thousand minutes and 28 shots since it last scored, including a duff penalty. Um, but, uh, I was reading that show on the Homestyle Net, which is, uh, the Palace, uh, message board. And they don't win it. They want rid. He's arrogant. Mm. So, um, I think there's an argument that, you know, he's a good striker and he will score goals, but, they don't want him. Uh, they've got other problems as well. Jason's punching, sort of fighting for his place in the team. Fighting in a bar in Rygate. Mm. Proper punching. Yeah. Jason punching. Hey. Proper punching. Yeah. Nice. Like it. Um, biggest losers this week. Spurs. Um, Deli Alley should have got a red card. Uh, Harry Kane should have got a red yeah. card. Didn't see Mark Clattenburg refereeing this time. <laughs> um, don't know if Craig Pawson was, uh, doing some out, out of his copybook, but, they were, those tackles were dreadful. Yeah, and, um, very bad. I read a stat that Edison, the uh, Man City keeper, made more accurate passes than Christian Eriksen did. Nice. <laughs> so, you know, um, Wilfred and DD, only the fourth player ever in Premier League history to be sent off on his birthday. By the way, all his stats are Martin's, not mine. <laughs> ripping him off totally. Thank you, Marty. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, I, I think that was instrumental in their downfall. Um, Oh, and the other big loser this weekend, um, who I was hoping to wake up to being sacked on Twitter on Sunday morning, was Steve Cotterill, or Steve Notterill, as I like to call him. <laughs> tell you a little story. So, Birmingham City actually scored their first second half goal in their 11th game nice. under Steve Cotterill, and all the directors ran out of the box, into the outside area to celebrate with the fans, and then when we went 2-1 down, they legged it back inside. Mm. Um not a happy time at St Andrews. Not a happy time at all. Uh, who else? I have one winner from the from the weekend. Wolves. Wolves ground out a win on Friday night. 
It was ugly viewing. I was watching it. It wasn't a great match to watch, but uh, yeah, they got the job done. One nil away. Lost to Wednesday, who don't lose very often at home. And uh, yeah, they gotta come up. They, I, I can't see the wheels coming off. Never's his goal was class. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, class. Yeah, they're playing, you know, but they're going to be great, great to have up in the Premier League. I remember them years ago, back when they were. They had like, remember Steve Bull? You were older than I. Of course, I remember, I remember that, Steve yeah, Bull. Yeah, yeah. Most people don't. I remember there was big calls for him to get in the England team. He played in the England team, but he he could never get in. Someone was keeping him out for. I don't. I don't well, remember. It was the fact he never played for the second division. Oh, all right. He was the first player outside the top flight to play for, in the England team for like 30, 40 years. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I remember Steve Ball well. Um, I, I've got to admit, I'm not the biggest Wolves fan. No, I wouldn't think so. Being from, from Birmingham, no. But, yeah. <laughs> was there any other, other results around from, from the weekend? Uh, there was a few strange ones in Germany. Oh, yeah. A few strange ones. I don't know what happened in the Bundesliga, but there was, um. It's the Christmas. That's what it is. The Christmas break. Everyone goes nuts. You know? There is one more game with the cup there's cup games this week. DFB Pokal, yeah. yeah. Um Inter went down three 0 to Kiago. Mm. What the hell what, what yeah. went on there? Um Sampdoria blew it against Sassuolo. Mm-hmm. Kids. Um and the one thing I did see was Benevento played Spal. I can't remember what the result was, but I saw this great bit of skill with this Benevento player running with the ball, falls over, gets up. And then Cruyff turns past this player. Nice. And it's like, <laughs> the, from the ridiculous to the sublime. <laughs> Another winner, I suppose, from the weekend is Liverpool's forwards. But, uh, did you see all the Liverpool fans on, on, well, not all of them, but a lot of Twitter, a, little, a lot of Liverpool fans on Twitter are going mad about Martin Tyler because he doesn't like, doesn't get excited enough about Liverpool, about Liverpool. That's the saddest complaint, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like Liverpool and this is kind of why. Yeah. So. Well, see, I support Liverpool, and the hardest thing about being a Liverpool fan isn't supporting Liverpool; it's other Liverpool fans. It, it really is. It's like because it's just like, and 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 the thing I look at as well is like so so many websites for writing stories about Twitter is anger about Martin Tyler, and it's just this never-ending cycle of just nonsense. It's it's why would you read an article, even though I read the article? But they're pointless articles. They add nothing. No, it's because people want to be wound up. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. They want to be. Made people up. are wound up. This will wind them up more. They'll get more wound up. We can produce more articles about it. See, that's journalism. Journalism's dead, baby. Yeah. You know? uh, let's move on to uh, football then. Uh, this evening, uh, this this will be out in time. Uh, Everton are taking on Swansea. Um, what what do you think is going to happen here? Uh, big Sam hype train. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see Swansea getting anything out of that. Um, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all over it. I'm all over Everton. 1.77 is short for Everton, though. Is it's it? a bit short, but I think it's worth it. Yeah? Yeah, I think You so. take on the handicap. Would you go to the evens? So, uh, Everton minus 0.75. No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not that far on the Everton hype train. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, I am on the Everton hype train tonight. Fair enough. Um, what's coming up during the week then? So, the Carabao Cup. Caribou cup. It's not a caribou, because caribou is the animal. Yeah, caribou. Car- caribou is a Thai energy drink. Yeah. You ever had it? No. I don't know anyone who's ever drank it. No, uh, I'm Thai Red Bull. Thai Red Bull. <laughs> oh, that stuff's amazing. Just liquid heroin. Uh, <laughs> um, Arsenal are taking on West Ham. Leicester are taking on Man City. Chelsea, Bournemouth and Bristol are taking on uh, Manchester United. Bristol City, I should add, not Rovers. Um... Look, man, these matches, now usually anyone who, who watches these will know I I go really into the stats for the league stuff. But you can see here, I've not written but the odds because yeah. they're cup matches. Lineups. You, you can't Always really go. about yeah. lineups. So, for example, Arsenal versus West Ham. Arsenal will probably But play. before you get into it, do, 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 you, do you bet on cup matches? I avoid them. Um, sometimes, yes, but only when I've seen the lineups. Mm. Um, and the reason being is, is that at this moment in time, you, we've got no idea. I mean, Arsenal sh- normally will play their European, Europa League. <laughs> Arsenal will normally play their Europa League side. So yeah. that would be, um, holding right wing back, uh, Maitland Niles left wing back, uh, Czech well, will drop out. Yeah, yeah. Frospina, Welbeck, Giroud, Walcott up front. Mm. Um, West Ham, I've got some notes here from Martin. Thank you again. Uh, no Mark Noble, no Zabaleta, no Lanzini, no Antonio. No Arnautovic, Chikorito and Sacco can start up top. You know, it, there's too many variables at the moment. Mm. Um, so, yeah, wait. And the, the thing is, is that I, I think with cup betting, it's always 
I always look for the upsets, and I small, small, small bets, big odds. Because if it loses, so you're looking at home underdogs. Uh, yeah, ha- um, home under home underdogs are really good. So if you've got like a team that's that's not fancied at all at home, so Leicester against Man City. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would be looking at that, but Man City would probably have to play their kids. Mm-hmm. Me to consider it. Um, whereas Arsenal versus West, uh, if it was West Ham versus Arsenal, yeah, and Arsenal put out strong, you know, put out the normal Europa League side, I'd probably back West Ham. Mm-hmm. Um, Bristol City Man U is the one because will Jose play anything like a strong team? Because Bristol City are a good side, yeah, yeah. A decent, yeah, and. I don't, you see, the thing is, I think Ho- Jose actually does respect this competition. Because mm. it's silverware at the end of the day. And he knows the Premier League's pretty much gone. Yeah. So it's Champions League, which I can't see happening. FA Cup or this. So he's, he's got to put out a decent side. But mm. okay, it's always, always, always about lineups. Mm. Like Leicester Man City, for example. Man City, I can see them putting out Phil Foden, who made his Premier League debut at the weekend. Uh, Zinchenko at left back. Brahim Diaz. Uh, the defender, to- Toshin, Tosin, whose surname I just cannot pronounce. I'm really, really sorry. Um, yeah. And I, 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 I saw, actually saw Man City fans saying, oh, play a strong team, we'll just rest them against Bournemouth instead. <laughs> it's like the arrogance, the actual <laughs> arrogance now. It's like, ah, you know, we'll yeah. rest them against Bournemouth, we'll be fine. Wow. Well, uh, Bournemouth were pretty, pretty awful against Liverpool, fairness. Mm. Um, so, what, 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 yeah, Arsenal probably to win. Arsenal handicap is minus 1.25, which is, which is just weird for a cup match. Yeah. Leicester, Leicester's handicap is also, they're plus well, 1.25. Le- Le- Leicester will probably play a weak inside. So they've got no one DD. I think they'll start Slimani up front. But they've nothing to go for this year. Why wouldn't they go for this? Because. It's Man City. It, it's Man City though. I think it as a game they can't win and. Premier League survival is what it's all about. Mm. Go get them 40 points, 40 points on the board. And you don't want a needless injury. And it's a good chance to give players who aren't really getting a game, give them a run out. So, you know, give the younger, young lad Hamza Chowdhury a run. Give, give the centre back Alexander Dragovic a run. Give, uh, Ihe Nacho a run against his former team. Mm. You know, see what they can do. <coughs> give them a chance to prove themselves, especially after a 3 0 defeat to Crystal Palace. You say to these players, right. You're in a team. Show me why you're keeping a shirt. That's like what David Unsworth did at Everton, and it went very badly wrong <laughs> in yeah. the Europa League. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I think Unsworth wasn't as respected as maybe just like Sam did it, and they won. Yeah. Um, I think they weren't playing for Unsworth. To be yeah. fair, no, no, uh, I suppose Chelsea and Bour- Bournemouth very similar. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, Chelsea. I think will rest players. Uh, so. Morato, who's been in and out with injury, I think he'll be out. I think he'll play Batshuayi, probably. Mm. Um, you know, uh, defenders. Uh, although, I, I think, I think Chelsea will actually get to the stage where I think they're going to sell David Luiz because they don't need him. Andreas Christensen stepped up to the plate. He's looked really good. It's like, yeah. okay. He is good, yeah. yeah. You know, alright, uh, there's some money in the bank. You know, Conte doesn't really get on with Luiz. Let's get rid of him. Yeah. Um, and, I could see Ethan Ampadu getting a run. Uh, I could see they've got other youngsters whose names escape me, but why not? Per- perfect chance to do so. So you reckon then it's going to be a, a Bristol Man City final then? <laughs> <sighs> I'd like that. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I, out of these teams though, who, what, City obviously are the favourites then. Chelsea as well. I think Arsenal always tend to do, I, I think, I think next round, Arsenal, Man City, uh, Man U, and Chelsea, uh, Chelsea mm. probably. And then I guess it's a hot balls thing, or cold balls thing, <laughs> depending on what conspiracy theory you go for. <laughs> Will the Manchester clubs and the London clubs avoid each other mm-hmm. in the semis? Because what you want really is a derby final, oh, yeah. derby semis. Of course. But it's uh, it's the way the balls come mm-hmm. out. As it exactly. Um... Look, uh, the big match is on Friday. Arsenal are at home to Liverpool. How do you see that one going? Um, Liverpool were so good up front against Bournemouth. You know, Salah, I, 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 what a player. Um, mm. First player to get 20 goals to Liverpool since Suarez, mm. I think. Mm. Um, Coutinho looked really good. Firmino. 
Um, they gave Solanke a run again. Um, even Lovren, even Lovren got on the score sheet. And <laughs> the thing is, is that I don't think Arsenal got the bottle against the big teams. Maybe I'm, maybe I've been wrong. I think I've said this before and got it wrong because I think they didn't they beat Spurs. Yeah, they were, they were very good against Spurs, but Spurs were very bad. Spurs really don't have a bottle against the big teams. No. I don't know. Um, it depends. It depends if they can get if they can attack Liverpool. Because that Liverpool defence is still creaky. I, I refuse to believe that Ragnar Klavan is a Premier League player. And, you know, Lovren, I think, has improved. I think he's not getting as much stick now. But you've got to... best form of defence is attack. So rather than thinking, how are we going to keep out Salah? How are we going to you know, stop Coutinho? Attack. Yeah. Go for it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And... I think Wenger will do that. Yeah, because he made, that was the mistake he made against Man United at home. They didn't go for, from, from, uh, from kickoff. You know, they, they sat back a bit and United punished them. Um, and that's that then, we'll finish up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right, look, we'll be back, uh, on Wednesday with our combined 11 podcasts. Our game of the week is, uh, is this match we were just talking about, Arsenal against Liverpool. So we'll pick, uh, our best 11 from the two squads. Also then on Thursday we'll be back with two podcasts, we'll have a video in the morning and uh, an audio one in the evenings where we'll be talking about the upcoming Christmas fixtures. So look, for me, Pro Tips are Paddy and Pro Tips are Dan. Thanks for joining us. Make sure and check out ProTipster.com where you can earn real money by sharing your winning football tips, sports tips even. And uh, yeah, hit that red button beneath this video and subscribe and you get daily videos, whether it's strategy videos, podcasts, all kinds of brilliant videos to help you become better at betting on football. All right then, take it easy. Good luck.